Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Christopher Yu and Yannick Gozoli. This is a game from Pro Chess League 2019. Christopher Yu had white pieces and he started with e4. Yannick Gozoli played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to b5, the Spanish game. a6. Bishop to a4, knight to f6, and you castled king's side. Bishop to e7, white to move. d3, the closed variation, avoiding the martial attack. So if c3 is played, then b5, and after bishop to b3, castling, rook to e1, d5, e takes on d5, knight takes on d5, Knight takes on e5, knight takes knight, rook takes on e5, c6. The martial attack. Back to our game. You played d3. d6, c3. Castling, rook to e1. b5, bishop to c2. d5. Knight from b to d2. d4, gaining the space on the board. c takes on d4, e takes on d4. a3. Knight to d7, knight to b3, knight to b6, h3 preventing bishop to g4, a5, bishop to f4, a4. Player with the black pieces, Gozoli, is doing well. Knight from b to d2, knight to a5, and now e5, intending knight to e4. Bishop to e6, knight to e4, black to move. There is a temptation to play h6, to control g5, but then white may play queen to d2 and sacrifice the bishop on h6 for two pawns. So Gozoli played c5, seeking the counterplay on the queen side. Bishop to g5, black to move, knight to b7 was played. Perhaps bishop to d5 and knight to c6 should have been considered too. Knight to b7, queen to d2, the tension is building up, and one little inaccuracy may cost the player a game. It is black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces against you? Gozoli played the queen to d7, connecting rooks. Rook to e8. A knight to d5 should have been considered. Queen to d7 was played. This move looks fine on the surface, but this is a blunder. Why? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this killer move? Knight to f6. Check. Forking the king and the queen. G takes on f6, pawn takes pawn. If the black queen was on d8, then black would play bishop takes pawn on f6. So the knight sacrifice would not work if the black queen was on d8. In this position, black must move the bishop to a safe spot. White play the move and black designed. What is the move? Is it bishop to h4 or bishop to h6? You played bishop to h4. How about bishop to h6? Is this good too? Then bishop takes on f6. So, you played the best move, bishop to h4, and play with the black pieces Gozoli resigned in view of this continuation. White queen is coming to g5, so king to h8 makes sense. And then one line goes like this. Queen to h6. Rook to g8, preventing the checkmate. Knight to g5, threatening queen takes pawn on h7, checkmate. Bishop to f5, but then rook to e7, cutting the communication between the queen and the pawn on f7. If bishop takes on e7, knight takes pawn on f7, checkmate. 
and if queen goes to d5, then knight takes on f7 check is winning. So is rook to e8. If something like bishop to c7 connecting rooks, then a queen to g7 check mate. That was very nice attack by you, helped by Gozoli in this position. All the good work was ruined when queen to d7 was played. And at first it looks like a good move, doesn't it? What do you think of this game? And uh, that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.